All right, check it out. In this video, I'm going to be going into the design process of some new decal stickers. Got some old guys here of some previous designs. If you're unfamiliar with decal stickers, it's basically when just the sticker is the design as well. So I cut all of the extra area out, get rid of that, and then you're left with a pretty sweet sticker. Just got a couple versions here. Stuff like this that's pretty high detailed is probably not what I'm going to go after this time. I'm going to go for something maybe a little bit more clean cut and simple lettering. Here's even a big two color one I did in a previous video. So without further ado, let's check out uh, the book and see what we got. So I know I want to keep the design pretty simple and I've been playing around with some S's kind of offhandedly in the hopes to kind of finally put this all on the page right now. And I was feeling the idea of pretty simple S, maybe a slightly rounded top and some cuts in there. And then just keeping this bottom extension just a single straight line. So that way, you know, when I do peel the sticker up, it's gonna be pretty simple. And all the area around it will kind of just peel right off. No need to worry about super high detail in there and cutting them in and actually having to pick out a bunch of the intersections. I was also thinking having a slight arc to the design. So the S and the I might grow up a little bit and then the V and the E can then grow down a little. That would look pretty cool. As well as maybe uh, let the back half of this extend out a little bit further to kind of then overemphasize the shape there. So then following a similar line, we'll start with the bottom of a lowercase I. So keeping that flow similar, put in a box here. He's going to need a slight contour here, also one over here. Try not to extend any lower than the, than the eye is already. So on my first pass, I didn't really care for the whole end structure of this first side. I did like, however, the first section of the S. It seemed like a nice building block that I could then kind of work up all the other letters from. So I took to this separate scrap sheet of paper and basically started building up my E with that same box that I have at the bottom of the S. And that gave me a nice starting point. I was having a little trouble just freehanding it and getting it to look and be cohesive. So I went back in and kind of just followed that same process for then the V and the I and then basically repeated my S to start but ultimately that allowed me to have a very consistent style throughout it and also maintain that original S that I liked quite a bit so kind of a hack there and a little bit of a cheat to trace over my other letter but seemed to work pretty well and although this scratch piece is going to probably fall out of my black book I figured it was a good way to kind of keep working through the process. Alright, so I got to a nice place with this design, like the little hard style between most of the letters. Got a slight curve on the S, not sure if I'm the biggest fan of that, but altogether I think it might clean up pretty nicely digitally. So now it's time really to get this thing digitalized up and put over to Photoshop. So I took some quick snaps of the image and then brought it into Photoshop and pretty much just used the pen tool to trace around the contours. I kept each of the letters individual so that in the event that I want to move or shift them around once I do have them all laid up, it's not going to be hard and it's not going to be one solid object. Each of these lines are now pretty freeform and I can adjust them as I like to see fit. I also added some hookups on there. The design felt pretty plain honestly without any little extra details in there and although that might add some time in weeding, I think the little bars are going to really kind of emphasize and make the design look pretty cool. So now that I'm mostly the way through designing the stickers, I picked up some vinyl and now I'm going to take some sample kind of color shots of all these and then mock up the colors I like best and how they lay up. So by bringing a photo of those colors into Photoshop, I was able to get a pretty good open idea about how I wanted to actually stack these stickers up. My goal with this design was to make somewhat of a quadruple stack up of a huge drop shadow. I have high hopes that this will look cool on a dark surface in the end. The design's pretty much finished, threw it into Silhouette Studio so I can cut it out on my Silhouette Cameo and got it all loaded up, simple outline, traced everything out, got a few test pieces going, Let's see how this first cut works. So 
So I tuned in my settings to have a pretty even cut and a fast cut at that. Bumped everything up as fast as it could go. And I also used a pretty deep cut so the weed would pull right off in the end and there's not going to be any kind of stragglers holding on to the sticker that I actually want to keep on the sheet. So I, I then took my big sticker cutter, turned it into a little machine press, and got moving through cutting all my sheets down to size. My Silhouette Cameo, I think I've got a 24 by 12 inch sheet that I can put on every time. And it's just way easier to have these all kind of pre-cut and ready to go, so that when I'm going through the kind of whole cutting process, I can just load a new one up, get it running through the machine, and then once it's done, rip it off and throw the next one on. So I had another design variation in mind where I'd actually cut each letter out of a different color, and then stack them up afterwards, and have kind of a four color letter workup. So being that I kept all my letters individually in Photoshop, it made for a super easy to kind of individually place them onto the silhouette sheet as well. And I was able to cut out a bunch of sheets of the different colors and then start stacking those up and kind of mixing and matching the colors and the letter. I didn't quite have a plan for which letter would be which color throughout the design. And I also wanted to get a feel for you know what the random color assortments would actually come out with. And so I found a few that were working better than others. It was kind of surprising and a good thing to see that the the yellow was super light compared to the rest of the colors. Had it been a little bit darker in contrast, I probably could have used the yellow in more letters, but when I seemed to have it on the E or the S, being that it was that first or last letter, it kind of lost its stake because all three other letters were clumped together. They were much darker in contrast than the, the yellow itself. So my favorite color combo ended up putting that yellow on the V. It seemed to complement because it was able to go over top of the E and you could see the cut of it there. And also the I would cut over top of it so you could see some of the extra contrast there. So that worked out the best for me. So I kind of ran with that on the mass of these, but also, you know, I did come up with maybe 10 or 15 in those random assorted colors. So definitely plenty to go around in different variations. And we'll see maybe the application of where they get stuck has a lot to do with how these actually look as well. Now as for the single color designs where the whole word is the same color, I wanted to do that stack up style so I started working with that and did the same kind of process where I tried out a few different color orientations, maybe putting the dark green in the back next to a yellow and then an orange and the kind of salmon color and just really mixed it up till I found the total setup that I liked the best. Believe it or not, kind of contrary to the previous one, yellow on the top gave it enough contrast off the other three colors, plus a dark surface made it pop off great. It kind of had a gradient effect with the colors getting deeper and darker as it went down to that green color. And then I also put some variations in there for a black layer on top for the event that you know a lighter surface might want to be used. I can see that this, you know, a silver surface, the yellow and pink and stuff might not pop off enough. So having that black layer on top and then the drop shadows, definitely gonna work out well for those. So it gives a little bit more versatility to all these designs. The black, yellow, orange, and the dark salmon gave this kind of cool fire kind of gradient effect. I liked that a lot and ran with that on a few one-offs that I think I kept for myself. Didn't put those in the, in the big packs, but all together, it's cool just to see all the different variations I was able to get off of just four different colors plus black. It was also time to run some thermal stickers on top of this. I've been printing a bunch of these for other people, but I'm fresh out of all my designs, so this is a good opportunity to print up a bunch of stacks of those, get them ripped up and kind of organized into each of these packs. I had five different colors I was able to print on and then two designs on each color, so came out with you know a bunch of different stickers here. Ultimately stuck with 10 total per pack and was able to mix and match those, so everybody got one of each design. So after quite a while of cutting and relaying a bunch of stickers down, finally got all the vinyl set up. Also printed out a bunch of different little thermal stickers, you know, a few different designs that I wanted to include in the packs. So gonna start probably with organizing these out and then kind of mix in the vinyls and decide on which ones I want to put in which packs and how I want to kind of break them down. My idea is to do maybe two different size packs. So a smaller one that has maybe three or four decals and a larger one that has you know, some of the big guys as well as some of the maybe some of the larger kind of quadruples seeing as these take quite a bit of material and time to put together gotta have a little bit of a premium in there so let's uh, start off with first sifting through those thermals and getting some sets of those put together thermals are real straightforward I'm gonna do 10 designs and one sticker from each design in each pack made sure to also include some of these New designs, I thought the pink backdrop was a nice complement to the black, kind of heavy, dense image. And also a slightly new one I put together was the Orbit design that I've put together on Instagram. 
mostly. Haven't shown it off too much here. We got all the throwies on there. I thought the pink worked well with that too, so kind of stuck the new releases to the same color. Have them stand out a little bit more. All right, so that's all 10 thermals right there. Now let's pick how we want to split up the other pack. So I made enough to include at least one of the kind of doubled up or tripled up or quadrupled up stickers in each pack. So we'll start off with spreading some of these around. Definitely got to keep a few for myself. And I'll also do one of the single colors. So kind of random as to which color ends up where. We got at least some in every color and then actually printed some of the kind of rose gold style. Thought that was a cool color. And then for the smaller packs, I'll do some of these smaller setups. That's a nice one. Well, so that's three of those and then I've got a bundle of other kind of decals that are old designs or different designs that put together. So spread some of these out randomly. Cool, so that's four decals. Seems pretty fair. Could, I've got enough to do big ones, so why don't we do one medium one as well. Five decals on, on this size. Right on, five decals, 10 other stickers. And lastly, obviously got to include a mix pack. I put these together ahead of time. These are pretty much what I send out with you know, any order whatsoever. Always try to include some stickers, so so try to include a side shell. Some repeat designs will follow through there. And then sticker submission stuff, custom print stuff. A little bit of everything, so there's 10 or 15 stickers in there too. So each pack gets one of those. Let's hope everything fits nicely. I'm a little worried about the bigger size decals, like the large printouts. There we go. That'll ship nicely and can just put an address on there and it's ready to go. All right, we got the next round of thermals laid out. Now it's time to pick the, uh, the bigger guys and do some big packs. So I'll start off with a large mix up. I don't know, I'm not sure exactly what I want to call this version. But basically, the big version of the individual letters. These look super fresh on a dark background. Also, got to do the small stack. I also wanted to do a two tone version for this pack, or even three tones with those guys. Those look fresh. And then lastly, I've got some of these huge ones that are just single colors, as well as a few of the bigger stacks. So I think I'll do either you get a double stack or you get a big one, kind of just random. So I'll do row by row. All right, so let's do a quick run through of what comes in the two different style of packs now that I've kind of got a few of them put together. So first off, big mix pack of not only my designs, but stuff from other artists. You know, things I've either helped print or things that have come sent in for uh, sticker submissions. So it could be hand drawn, could be custom printouts. A little bit of everything comes in the front of the pack. And uh, moving through all those, I'm a blank sticker or two. Then you get your decals, so each one's gonna come with a random decal that, you know, I made one-offs or at a different time, so a lot of these throw-ups kind of found their way in. In the large pack, you're gonna get a big stack up like this or a random, larger, kind of big single color. So those are the two kind of bigger styles for this one, as well as a, a two-tone of the small. So a little guy here, but got a couple drop shadows there. Single solid color comes in both size packs. Then you get the single kind of full color stack up. Some of them even have a black layer on top as well. So this is definitely my favorite style sticker that came through with, with this session. And then the kind of single individual letter stuff. So all of these took quite a while to put together. 
but definitely happy with the outcomes. And then to round it out, just a sampling of a bunch of different designs I've made in the past, all put onto some thermals. So we got the orbit design, got a big cursive, got the new one. Not sure if I'm gonna stick with calling it Play-Doh like my original thought was, but maybe we'll just run with that now that it's in there. We got some stipple flares on yellow. Big throw up, spitting out. Halloween tag there on orange, of course, and two others to finish it out. So crazy stack, must be 25 stickers, 30 stickers. I got 10 in there, 15, 25, close to 30 stickers there. So give or take a few, call it a 30 sticker pack, and that's kind of the larger size. And the only real difference with the smaller size is some of the decals are downsized and you only get five instead of the, the six total. So still sits around 30 stickers, but Definitely a little bit smaller scale and it'll be a little cheaper, obviously. The decals are the main pressure in here and all the other work in here is definitely just icing on the cake. You know, it's super easy for me to throw in a bunch of those mixed thermals. They, uh, they print out and are put together quite a bit faster than the decals. So if you want to check these out, I'll have them on my web store. There'll be a link down in the description of the video. Or you can just jump over to sive.bigcartel.com. It'll be up there. And uh, I know a few of you have already jumped on them after seeing some Instagram posts about new decals. So a couple people were sly and getting into it just real quick as I'm making new ones. So they definitely got a little bit of a discount. The old list thing was up there, but definitely going to hook those guys up with some of the new stuff as well. Well, I hope you enjoyed following the process from some sticky note sketches all the way up to more formalized where the design came from. And altogether, I'm super happy with the final outcome. The color stack was something I'd been meaning to try and something, you know, high volume here with four different layers under the black. So excited for how this turned out. Didn't end up uh, finishing out the second design in here, so maybe we'll see what comes of that. But altogether, these are some crazy decals. Let's go uh, stick one before the video comes out. And uh, I think I know what I'm gonna put it on. Definitely got an obligation to add one to the water bottle. Did some test runs here, so just background filler for the whole pattern. Thinking somewhere up in here will look nice with all these colors kind of stacked up there. Maybe round over top of the orbit. You can get an idea as to what this looks like. So with decals, I'm sure plenty of you are familiar with it. It's basically, you know, transfer tape on top, and then you got all the layers of vinyl cut out down below. Pick a nice spot for this. And they work really well on the rounded surface because, you know, the relief cut in there and the, the fact that each of the layers, you know, is by itself wraps quite nicely versus a, a square sticker that might kind of get buckled on the, the round surface. Back side of this, a nice rub down. Looking tight. Great addition to the bottle. Much more depth compared to a lot of the other stickers on here. So, we'll see what I round uh, the rest of this out. I also want to put one on uh, a new spray paint box that I've been uh, using to store my paint. So, that could uh, follow up with maybe a big guy of this. So, I made some of these in the much larger style for myself. Too big to put into the packs, but let's go uh, put one on one of the bins. So taking a look at these two, I think the just yellow will pop off a little bit better than the black on the, the black bin. So we've even got these grooves in here, so I'm gonna probably have to start it and then kind of crease it down onto there, which could be interesting, but we'll see how it goes. That is a good thing about the vinyl like this too. It, Definitely conforms to shapes, it can stretch a little bit if you have to go over creases like this. That worked out pretty well. You can see the ridges a little bit better now that it's got the, the yellow on there. Let's see if we can ensure that everything's stuck down. Feels like a pretty good application. Dirtying this already, but hey. It's not gonna last pristine for too long. So very happy with that. Be sure to uh, go check out the web shop if you wanna grab some of these yourself and deck some of your stuff out with a uh, nice decal from myself. 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to maybe check out some of the other stuff on the channel. I post stuff pretty frequently, especially about stickers recently. Been on a nice sticker grind, being that it was the winter season. So check some of those other videos out. It's really gonna do it for me, guys. Peace.